story. Quality housing is a basic need, yet so many people with various incomes are struggling to afford it. That's why a city of Greensboro employee is eager to help more people feel good about where they can call home. Here's how in today's Good For Her. This particular community, I know they've had over 3,000 phone calls about their 180 units. It would take more than 16 times the units available at this affordable housing community to accommodate every call. A stark picture of our region's housing crunch. But Anna Blanchard remains optimistic, knowing that you have to start somewhere. Even though we realize it's not enough to cover the crisis we're experiencing, it is everything for the families that get to move into these units. Anna joined the city of Greensboro as a multifamily development analyst in January of 2023. Part of what she does is making sure the city's timeline for building affordable housing communities stays on track. I see my role as one of the key pieces being how do I translate all these regulations that developers and nonprofits are not experts in or they sh should they have to be. Um, my role is a lot of translating that into, okay, this is what you need to do. We need to be in compliance. These are important things, but this is how we're going to do it so that it doesn't slow down the process too much. Little by little, families are getting access to options that meet their needs. This place we're standing in right now is Townsend Trace. It is 180 units. Other city of Greensboro sites include the lofts at Elmsley Crossing, Yanceyville Place, and the rehabilitation project at Southwoods on Columbus Street. These apartments are priced based on income levels. So again, going back to that, at different incomes, what can someone sustainably afford and their housing not be more than 30% of their gross wages? Anna says this work is personal because she can relate to the struggles of many of the people she meets. I remember when I first moved to Greensboro, applying to multiple different property management companies, paying the application fee, not knowing if I was going to get a place to live at the end of it. She says the reward comes when she sees families finally feeling some relief. It's stressful if you're spending 50% or more of your income on housing, and that is a reality for many families in our city. Knowing that my work is a small part of bringing that relief is just huge, and that's, that's why I do what I do. And Anna says one of the challenges is that there's only so much land that can be used for apartment complexes of a certain size. That's why she values exploring creative ways to increase affordable housing using the existing land and housing supply. So such a need. You pick yeah. a city across the country. It's this similar situation and everybody's trying to figure it out, but it's going to take creative minds. Exactly. And finding the space. That's yeah. right. And buy in from different people. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Natalie. Well,